now knock down the new chandelier. That would be a, just a little too mean, don't you think? Just a little too mean. <laughs> All right. Maybe now I can get that sh that new item I wanted from Bizarre. That would be nice, you know, getting stuff that I want. Whee! Well, hopefully I'll be able to show him what item that is. Uh, yes! Oh no, hang on a second. I see you're looking well these days. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you'd found the time to gather all variety of magnificent treasures. Come, come closer. If it's treasure you seek, I'll use my mystical vision to find answers for you. I'm good. Aha, uh -huh. uh -huh. I've got something new in stock for you, friend. It's a very mysterious shield called a sacred shield. I suggest you linger and give it a good look. Aha, uh -huh. that is a sacred shield. As you might surmise from its name, it can handle all variety of attacks. Fire, not a sweat. Electricity, no powerful zaps. Plus, it will automatically repair itself when it's a saint's damage. It's a little fragile, but that shouldn't be a problem for one as talented and agile as yourself. At the cost of 500 rupees, it's an investment, but an excellent one. Care to buy it? I do, actually. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Thank you for your loyal and continued patronage, friend! I've taken the liberty of placing your purchases in your pouch. Well, thank you much. Here's my new shield. Hi. Oh, hey, this is the item check, but I bet you're just here to check me out, right? Well, don't make a habit of it, okay? Anyway, you need to grab something or drop something off. Uh, All right, let's see it. Thank you very much. Uh, Come again. Any chance that I can improve this right here, right now? I'm just curious. I need a dusk relic. What the heck is a dusk relic? Still need hornet larva. More dusk relics. Evil crystals. Okay, so. I'm still waiting. I mean, she's not unattractive, but. Her personality is just is not attractive. I've been hearing a weird rumor. Apparently, after nightfall, people have been hearing a woman sobbing in the dormitory. I tell you, it gives even a big lie to a guy like me the creeps. Sobbing in the dormitory? Huh. Alright. I am curious. I am curious, so I will take a look. And just to be nice, we'll sleep in my bed. I mean, it's a ghost. I'm assuming it's a ghost. Maybe he's had bad relationships with women and is not used to being able to adequately solve the women's problems. I don't have too many options here. Could be creepy. I don't know. Maybe the crying is a creepy cry. It didn't sound like he heard it. It sounds... Fledge? Oh, 
Oh, you're doing push-ups. Five, six, seven. <sighs> Let me catch my breath. Hey, Link. Oh, what am I doing? I'm training. I can't even lift a single barrel. Pathetic, I know. That's why I want to get stronger. I'm a bit embarrassed about it, though, so I do it at night when no one's around to laugh at me. <sighs> but it's not going so well. I'm just too tired. I was actually about ready to throw in the towel. <sighs> oh, Link, what have you got there? That's not... It's not a stamina potion, is it? I don't suppose you would mind letting me have that, would you? Sure. <sighs> really? Thank you. I owe you one. <sighs> Ooh, yeah! I can feel my muscles perking back up already! Aww. It's just that, at this rate, I don't know if I'll ever get strong and burly. Oh, come on. I believe in you. <laughs> wow, really? It's great to hear you're so confident in me. Maybe I can actually do this. Thank you, Link. I'll make you proud. You'll see. I'll be super burly in no time. Okay, back to training. Come back soon so I can show you the new me. You go, guy. Self-improvement for the win. Eventually. Because it, it takes time to, to improve yourself. Now, what's this whole thing about a ghost? <gasps> Creepy ghost sounds. Somebody, please. Somebody, help me. Um, Hello? Paper, please, somebody bring me paper. Bring me some paper. Any kind of paper at all. Oh. Moaning Myrtle doesn't have TP. I'm going to bed now. I am going to bed. I am waking up and I am moving on with my life. I'm glad I was able to help Fledge, so it is worth it. But at the same time... What the... Should I give it to her? Should I not give it to her? <laughs> what? Link, it's you! Don't sneak up on me like that! I have a serious dilemma on my mind right now, and you're distracting me! What? What? You want to hear about it? <laughs> Normally, I would never, ever tell someone like you. But in these, are, these are dire times. Uh, come to think of it, you might be just the person I need. You seem to be pretty good with the ladies. If you say so. Ugh, I can't believe I just said that. Uh, but whatever, let's do this. Link, I have a task for you. So listen up. Your mission is to take this piece of paper to a certain person. It's a very important piece of paper. Make sure you deliver it. Um, paper, huh? Huh? What's your problem? Why are you looking at the restroom? What? If that's someone in the restroom at night who wants paper? <laughs> you fool! How dare you! This is no ordinary piece of paper. It's a letter. A very special one at that. I put my heart into every word. I guess you could say it's sort of like a... Alright, fine. It's a love letter. And that's why you will not, under any circumstances, ever allow it to be used as toilet paper. Do you hear me? So listen up. The person you must give this to is a girl. An upperclassman. Her name is Karate. <laughs> you know who I mean, right? She's the one with the round hat. She's really cute. You know the one. And don't you dare, not even by mistake, even think of giving it to that weirdo in the restroom. Swear it. Here it is. I'm entrusting this letter to you, so don't read what's inside. Do you hear me? I have Colin's letter. Can you believe this letter might actually contain heartfelt words from Colin? Take extra care you don't end up using it as scrap paper. Counting on you, Link. Get to it. 
If you don't mess this up, maybe I'll let you be my sidekick. So, we are left with a dilemma here. Do we give this love letter to Karane, or do we use it as toilet paper? These are the deep questions of life. I have seen them both. Uh, one is mildly creepier than the other. Kron is right there. Or we go to bed. <laughs> okay, TP it is. Let's do this. Let's do this. There's something else we can do. I just realized this. Because... Oh, dang it. That's what I get. We have options. And it's good that I thought of this now. <laughs> Let's do this. We'll save now. Once we see the result of one, we can go back and do the other. Oh, it's already nighttime. We're gonna we're gonna use it as TP first. In the grand scheme of things, it's not going to it's not going to matter. Because either way, we get what we want out of it. You brought me some paper. I'll open the door. Please come in. Oh, this is awkward. It's a bathroom. And that is a hand. A ghost hand. These are the weird things we do with our life. Oh, paper. I need paper. I'm not angry or anything. I just need some paper. Okay, here's a letter. You're giving me paper? I'm so happy. But this looks like someone's letter. Are you sure I can have this? Yes. Thank you. I will use it with care. But I'm shy, so don't ask me what I want the paper for. May we meet again, you kind soul. I'm gonna go now. Everything about that was awkward. Now we go to morning. Hey, 
Hey, Link, did you hand over that letter like I asked? Uh, actually... What did you just say? You gave it to that weirdo in the restroom? Didn't I specifically tell you not to give it to the weirdo in the restroom? Seriously, I said it like five times. I know I did. <laughs> you fool, how could you? Anyone who blocks the path of true love deserves to be kicked by a bird. I hate you, Link. <laughs> Dang. Colin and Stretch have, like, no room. <laughs> Groups took all of it. Okay. Thing is, we're not done yet. Because there's a... There's an epilogue. Someone decided to uh, read that letter. Oh, oh it's you, Link. What do you want with me? Huh? What am I doing? <laughs> bugs. I'm looking at bugs. Oh, you have a lot of bugs. You do have a lot of bugs, dang. And bugs are amazing, even more amazing than Groos in a lot of ways. Oh, wait, I'm not saying Groos isn't as amazing as a bug. <laughs> Look, I just really like bugs. I want to collect all kinds of bugs. Sometimes I even dream about having, like, an entire island full of bugs. Mm. How about this? Link, here's the plan. If you find a bug, come sell it to me. When it comes to bugs, rupees are no object. Huh? Don't make me sick, Groos, on you. When I buy on any given day, it just depends on the mood I'm in. Oh, one other thing. This might bug you a little bit, but I only want to do these deals at night. I have a reputation to protect, you know. <laughs> Got it, Link? I don't mean to be a pest, but I'm counting on you. I can't stop thinking about bugs. No, I'm good. Hi. Guess I'll be seeing you. Hey, bug puns. Restroom? Nope. Where is it? It wouldn't be in Groose's room, would it? Oh, it might be. Someone read the letter. When I said creepy, I meant creepy. Uh, help. You're the one from the other day. Feeny? Feeny? It's good to see you again. Actually, thanks to you, I met my true love. Yes. Him. It all started with that letter that you gave me. Those beautiful words of affection caused me to fall hopelessly in love. Ah, oh, my heart is bursting with thoughts of him. I feel so excited, so cheerful, so full of life. Where is your heart? You are a hand and nothing else. Okay, thank you, whatever. This is, this is the life that we have at the moment. I love, I will always be by your side, dear. So, there's ending one. Now we go to ending two. Ending two, we will head back to daytime. Did I? No, I, I talked to Fledge already, right? He's just doing more push-ups. 
Let me double check this because I don't want to accidentally... If he doesn't have the ellipses... Oh! Did I not? I thought I did this already. Okay, no. No, he's, he's still going. Okay, we're good. We're good there. Ledge is still working out. He's doing his real best. I need to be better at working out. That's a whole different discussion. Need to work out. Need to get fit. Okay. Fledge is an inspiration. All right. Now that we're here, come over here and let's talk to Karane. Oh, Pivot, how can I get you to notice me? Ah, oh, Link, uh, what's the matter? Do you uh, need something? I wonder if you heard what I was talking about. Huh? A letter? From me? Could it be from Pippet? That's well, not, but here you go. Oh, thank you, I'll just take that. I wonder who it's from. Whoa. That's some really terrible handwriting. Anyway, never mind that. Let's see what it says. Greetings, my love for you is wider than the horizon and deeper than the clouds. I would very much like it if you would go out with me, your brave knight, Colin. Yeah, that's that's a cheesy love letter. Wow, this Colin guy. Isn't he one of Gruz's flunkies? Oh, this, this is a love letter from that Colin kid, right? Oh boy. <laughs> so yeah, I have to say he really put his heart into it and everything. I don't know, maybe I should consider going out with Colin. <laughs> As if. Uh, I wonder what Pippa would think if he knew about this. Mm, let's go ask him. What's up, Link? Huh? Karna got a love letter? I see. That's interesting. Wow. What do you think she intends to do? It's me. So you don't know? Well, that's gonna bother me till I find out. Oh, I, I mean, uh, it's not like there's anything going on between me and Karna, you know? We're just friends. So it's not my business who she goes out with. I, I don't have much to say about it. But you know, I do have a duty to make sure that everyone is living up to the high ideals of our night school, right? I mean, ideal love is unfettered and passionate. Anything less than that can't really be called love at all. You know what I mean? So I should step in and make sure that she's found a true love that aspires to the highest ideals of our fine educational institution. Right? And, and what about me? I... I have the right to experience an unfettered and passionate love too, don't I? You understand, don't you, Link? I'm not wrong about this, am I? So... you, you like her? What? It's, don't be ridiculous, Link! I don't even understand how you can make such a wild accusation. Well, either way, I don't suppose you'd mind asking her what her decision is going to be, would you? I like this version. This this is my preferred version. <laughs> it's very corny. But I like Pippet, so... I'm glad he gets somebody. <laughs> You're the one who sent the letter, right? Y yes. <laughs> it was a wonderful love letter. Thank you. It wasn't that great. And, um, well, what's your answer? My answer? Um, uh, my answer. Oh, please, please go out with me. Wait. Oh, dramatic. I think you should go out with me instead. I mean, er, I want to ask you out. <laughs> what? Hey, hold on there. What are you trying to pull all of a sudden? I want to go out with Pippet. Ha! See, you fat, you fool! I knew she would choose me! She's been checking me out for weeks! Uh, wait a second. 
<laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> Truly, you choose me. Yes, I'm so happy. Thank you. <laughs> this can't be happening. <laughs> it's the same conclusion, only slightly less ghosty. <laughs> Link. When you told me about the letter, it was all at that moment I finally realized, I realized that I love her. I thought to myself, I can't let anyone else take her from me. If you hadn't told me, I might never have noticed my own feelings for her. I'm so grateful. I don't know how I can ever thank you. Here, have these weird crystals that are popping out of my head for no reason. Helping people feels good. One way or the other. And that's, that's how that goes. So in one version, Colin gets a ghost hand. In the other version... <laughs> Pippin and Karane get a relationship. Or you see a relationship. All depends on what you like. Now then. Oh, why am I going out here? I don't want to come out here. I need someone in the institution the Academy, who knows a thing or two about songs. Let's find something out, shall we? <laughs> well, first on the list is the Headmaster, because that's the door. Head cannon, no matter which path you choose, everybody ends up with whoever they end up with. Ooh. You're back, Link. Glad to see you're still in one piece. So, how's it going down there? Are you any closer to finding my Zelda? Kind of? Sort of? Hmm. Ooh, I see, my dear Zelda. Things must be terribly trying for her down there. And it can't be easy for you now either, can it? What? You want to know the lyrics to the song Zelda sang on the day of the wind ceremony? You know I'm not much of a singer. Come on, sing it! Listen, as I said, I wouldn't feel comfortable re serenading you. But if it's the lyrics you're after, I can recite them for you. Let's see. O oh, youth, guided by the servant of the goddess, unite earth and sky, and bring light to the land. That's the first part, but as I recall, there's a second verse to the song. O oh, youth, show the two whirling sails the way to the light tower, and before you a path shall open, and heavenly song you shall hear. I believe that's the whole thing. The light tower mentioned in the song is a real place. I'm sure you've seen the tower in the plaza. I don't know a thing about the two whirling sails, though. It sounds like the song is suggesting that if one shows these whirling sails the way to the tower, something will happen. But how do you go about doing that? What does it mean? Two whirling sails. Hmm. Whirling sails, huh? Let's go find ourselves some whirling sails. They're very specific lyrics, I gotta say. <laughs> 